Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Christine. On today's video, as you know, I'm doing my usual makeup tutorial and this time I'm doing something like inspired on Marilyn Monroe. I'm not doing Marilyn all the way. I just doing something inspired on hair and I'm doing my hair like hair and my makeup also and this time I'm using brand new uh, makeup from Smoke and Mirrors the quartz eyeshadow palette this one cost me one $1.99 I'm also using this beautiful um, blush palette, Get Glowing, also from Smoke and Mirrors, and it's also $1.99. And I'm going to do a little bit of swatches for you. And as you know, these are very affordable and very good quality makeup even though it's very affordable but it's very good quality good pigmentation and almost no fallout okay so let me show you the, the blush palette it, it's shaped in the form of a rose you see this is really 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 silvery this is the pink this one and this one here it's more like more, more shiny and this one here it's very soft so this is the blush that i'm going to be using and the eyeshadow palette also it's very um very pigmented very shiny it's like a highlighter or something oh my god this one this one went oh here And for this look, I'm going to be using this pink right here. This one, this one, this one, and maybe this one too, and this brown. These ones are like uh, really, really shiny, like highlighters, but I'm not going to use those. Look at this one here. See, it's very, very, oh my God really shiny so i'm going to be using those and uh and for my eyelashes i'm going to be using the eyelashes here and for my lips i'm going to use the red lipstick from uh from uh lancome this is red like very monroe red so um, that's what I'm going to do today. I hope you like it, guys. And I'm going to start by applying that, this little soft pink in the eyebrow, brow bone area. You know, this is to highlight the eyebrows and to make them look higher. This is an instant eyebrow lift. Maybe you cannot see it right now, but I do. And in, in a different light, outdoors light, it's going to look even more highlighted and higher. So this is, as you know, the lightest. This one always makes your eyes look really beautiful. I don't know why, but it does. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, okay, now I'm going to use this uh, this pink right here for the contour, to contour the crease. This is very soft too, but 
I want to use it to to uh to blend with the other pink, and you know you have to use circular. circular strokes this is very easy if you're a beginner you see when I was a beginner I didn't know I didn't even know how to do my makeup I started working as a performer and the day I started working as a performer I, I started attending the beauty academy so I still didn't know how to do my makeup, so I just go figure. So um, one of the girls that was already working there helped me with my makeup that night. And I had to look and practice, and I had to learn really quick because the next time she didn't want to do my makeup again because she was not being paid to do that. But she was asked by the boss, the owner, to help me with it. Because she was a professional, she was already a professional makeup artist and she was doing her makeup really, really beautiful, perfect. And I'm not going to say names, but if she ever sees this video, she will know who she is. Okay, now I'm going to use this pink too. And I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the same brush. I want to see the effect. Okay, this is more like, more like, uh, it looks more matte, more pink, but it has a different undertone, and it's a little bit shiny too, so I'm going to apply it here. Anyway, I'm going to apply this pink in the in the um, eyelid so now I'm going to use this this brown for the lower lash line I know I told you this ones have a very very little um very little uh fallout but anyway you always get some here so try to clean it immediately so it doesn't stick to the makeup even though you're wearing uh the pressed powder the the banana powder or whatever you're wearing it's going to stick to your makeup if you don't remove it immediately and then you're gonna ruin your makeup and you're gonna, you're gonna have to try to patch it. And that doesn't look any good. Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna apply a little bit of brown here. Here also to enlarge the eye. You know, makeup does miracles. You just apply a little bit of something here and, and it goes a long way. It makes your eyes look bigger. And as you know, I'm not, I'm not using pencil, so I'm using the same eyeshadow in the inner lash line. So just, you know, you have to have your 
brush is very clean otherwise you can get an, an eye a pink eye or an eye infection so always clean your brushes immediately after you are done using them the other day i got a little stack here i don't know how but i got it So this is what's going to elongate my eye a little bit. And even though my eye eyelashes don't look like Marilyn Monroe lashes, you know, the bedroom eye eyelashes. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the with the eye primer because I want to uh, I want the eyeshadow to stick to my eyelids the other day I had to use the uh, um, concealer from e.l.f. and the effect that I got was too like a drag queen makeup but anyway so okay so I'm applying this pink right here and I'm using this pencil uh, I hope it's clean it's clean okay guys so this is a very soft Pink with a little bit of glitter it looks very very subtle very neutral it looks really pretty pretty in person I can extend it a little bit more and now let me do the other eye see it's very easy to do makeup once you uh, learn how to do it and you practice a lot you can do it very quickly So I'm using the brown again to um, to accentuate a little bit more this this line right here that is going to make my eyelid even bigger.
Okay, so now let me go and put on the eyelashes and fix the hair. And I will be right back, okay? Okay, guys, I'm ready to finish the look. And as you can see, I already did the lip liner, the eyelashes. Do you like them? Okay, guys, so I'm going to apply the blush. And as I show you the, the, the blush, they are beautiful. And they are highly pigmented. So this time I'm going to I'm going to apply a little bit of this highlighter here. Let's see what it looks like. But first I'm going to apply this this red in the contour to try to blend it with the contour that I already have. Okay, now I'm using this one here. And as you know, you have to use a different brush for each and every one of them. Okay, this one doesn't want to paint. What's wrong with this? It's, this is very soft. I think I'm going to use a little bit more of the other one. This contouring that I'm doing lately, it's making me look a lot like a drag queen. I think I'm abusing of that. So I'm using this right here, here on the cheekbones. Not that I need to uh, accentuate my uh, cheekbones, but anyway, just to show you the effect. Okay, now I'm using this one here. I'm using another brush. This is kind of bothering me. Okay. Oh my God, this one was only shiny while it was before using it. So this is a fraud. Okay, can you see it? Now it looks a little bit too highlighted. But anyway, and now the lips. I was thinking about using pink, but mm -mm. This lipstick from Lancome it smells delicious. And as you know, when you red, wear red lipstick, you have to go like this, so you don't mess your teeth. Okay guys, this inspired Monroe look looks a little bit like a drag queen look, but anyway, I like it. I hope you like it. And if you do, let me know in the comment section. And uh, I thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon in my next video guys and I hope you guys are doing great let's have to we're gonna have to continue using this uh, face mask but anyway I think this is never going to end if we don't stop protecting ourselves with a uh, face mask but anyway guys take care and I hope you guys are doing great and I hope to see you again soon in my next video 
and I love you and I see you soon. Bye.